Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Last time, we broke into the CyberLife warehouse to get supplies for Jericho so that everybody won't die. We saved and converted this android guy, hid until the guard moved on. We saved a bunch of other androids and we got out with a truckload of blue blood and other supplies, which was awesome big win in my book. We also went to the Eden Club with Connor and Hank. I like that place. <laughs> Until you realize all the horrible things that happened there, then it's actually not that great. But we were investigating a customer death. We tracked down the android that was responsible. We blew a bunch of money. It was awesome. We didn't even get a hooker though. That sucked. We eventually tracked down this blue haired android unit and found out that she has an android lover and they just wanted to be together and not be dead. So we ended up sparing them and Hank actually liked that. <gasps> He's coming around. And then on Cars End, we just had a nice little scene where we put Alice on a carousel and we met the Jerry's and the Jerry's are the sweetest, most adorable, my new favorite characters in this game. Not really, but they're awesome. Now to see what today has in store for us. Enjoy the video, guys, and I'll see you in the comments. Oh, oh, back with Connor, okay. Software instability. This isn't death metal. Okay, why are we here? What are we doing here? Where's Hank? So we let the deviants go. We let those two deviants go. We're at a playground? There's Hank. Let's go have a chat. Oh, do we get to read about sex androids again? Who's this guy? The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. What happened to the man of the century? Politics and focus. Are American senators really corrupt? You have to ask. <laughs> China earthquake kills 10,000 people. Holy shit. That's a lot of people. That's a bad earthquake. In 2028, Elijah Kamsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy. They changed the way we live, restructured our family life, and altered the balance of society forever, whether for good or bad. Shortly after, Kamsky had disappeared. Ousted as CEO of CyberLife and living in obscurity outside the media glare, the man of the century has left the very world that he recreated. Kamsky's story begins in 2018 when commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups. The college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail hitting on two breakthroughs, Blue Blood until hitting on two breakthroughs, Blue Blood and bio, uh, bio components. After unveiling his first working model, which publicly passed face-to-face -face Turing tests and stunned the world, plans were laid for mass production and CyberLife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet at the peak of CyberLife's powers, when the company was approaching a $500 billion valuation, rumors emerged that Kamsky disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He, he later departed under mysterious circumstances. Today, sources claim Kamsky is living in luxurious villa by the water somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What's in the mind of the mysterious Mr. Kamsky? Oh, is he dead? Is he alive? What is he doing? Um, market Markets predict war. Stock exchange falls 10% on fear of Arctic conflict. President Warren at 33% approval. CyberLife's World first trillion cyber life is world's first trillion dollar company. The aggregated US stock exchange closed trading 10 points down yesterday following a string of similarly poor performances in recent weeks. 
Financial expert experts are attributing this poor performance to huge devaluations of consumer stocks as the market continues to bet that America will go to war over the Arctic sooner rather than later. This assessment is supported by healthy performance of military stocks, with aviation and weapons manufacturers enjoying unprecedented growth. Investors are also continuing to favor CyberLife because of its partnership with the Department of Defense to develop and supply military androids. With Russia and the United States continuing to dominate world news and neither side likely to back down, the market is expected to continue falling. Alright, is there anything else we can look at over here? So I'm kind of curious about this World War III that they keep um, alluding to. I wonder if something like that is going to start something is going to start moving with that during this game or like if they were maybe saving it for a possible sequel or something because i know i'm not done with the game yet but i think a sequel would be cool i mean i don't know how how this is going to end or anything but i would enjoy that but of course don't tell me if you guys know anything don't spoil anything okay Alright, I guess we just talked to Hank. Hank's whole world is turning upside down. It was so much simpler when you could just hate androids, That's huh? you, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before... Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Hank. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. Oh, Hank. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? I'm the truth. No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But 
But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable. I'm going full interrupted instability before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? Yeah. You think you're so Tell me about smart. it. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Path unlocked. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Oh, this is getting so intense. Oh. Hank left Connor alone. We placated him. He could have got more aggressive. I'm not sure exactly what would have happened, but maybe we would have been uh, another gravestone in that place. <laughs> Okay, here's Marcus. What's happening? We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to Are us. Are we ready for this? Revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. Or we could fight. Murder all the humans. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Oh man. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Gosh, sometimes I feel like I'm just this this game feels so much like a movie, you know, like <laughs> it's time for the the bank heist or whatever. And it shows like, you know, the montage of <laughs> the the music gets intense, shows the montage of like everybody getting in position or whatever. And and it just like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's just so cool. I love this. Okay, so access the 47th floor. So first we're going to try to request access at reception. Okay. So this is a broadcast station, they said. High speed elevators, business and legal, channel 16 news. A thousand square foot screen, largest in Detroit, Stratford Tower Business and Media Center. Okay. They 
National Geographic. All right, all right. Good to see the rhinos are still alive in this uh, in this time. It's the same on that side. Okay. What happened? A hurricane? Like, why does everything look like it got fucked up? Looks like maybe a hurricane or something. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract the human advisor. Analyze. Smartwatch. Phone number 555. Okay, we got a phone number. Her name is Elizabeth Wilson. She has a daughter, Emily. Parking badge. Home address. Okay. Let's call her. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. School. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. I'll, I'll be right there. Oh, that was easy. She just up and leave. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. Just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. There are so many androids that have like this the consciousness, the awareness, like so many. This could be huge, you know? Like if they broadcast and then all the androids like revolt at the same time or at least start to believe that hey there could be a way out of this for us get them get them thinking that could be very dangerous Oh, that elevator is fast. They didn't lie. They were not lying. Forty-seventh floor. Find package in men's bathroom. You're here. The bathroom is around that way, but let's see. Can I explore like anything else? Newsroom. Oh, can I go in? No. Okay. There's a cart there. Right. They're busy at work. Hey, a robot. Do you think this do you think this thing has a consciousness as well?
Who put the package in here? And how did they get up here? I don't understand. If they could just come up here with the package. Oh, maybe they call maybe they contacted somebody who works here. I work here. Excuse me. I work here. What's my next objective? Access the server room. I don't remember where the server was. Server room. Find the utility android. Isn't that his cart? Oh, there's an android there. Do we wait for him or can we go in here? I need your help. Convert? How is this so easy? Are we hacking them? Or are they willingly helping us? Hold on a second. Uh, find... Okay, steel maintenance cart, okay? Alright. I'll take that. This is mine now. Open the fire escape. There's a server room. We need to get in there eventually. Excuse me. Cafeteria. No idea where this fire escape is. Is that it? Can I get a... Can I get a soda? Energy bar? Candy bar? Ooh, they have so many choices. Why is it eight? Oh my gosh. Inflation got crazy, you guys. $8.50 for this chocolate chunk thing? What the hell? Raspberry candy, six fifty. That's insane! Open. Okay, there's north. Follow north. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. The track guards away from the door. I guess we gotta just talk to them. We're gonna have a tournament right here. You in? Hell yeah. Does Mike know about this? What do you think? But don't say anything, all right? What was that? Right. What was that about a tournament? Huh? What was that? Wait, I can't talk to them? Wait, what am I supposed to do then? You guys wanna play poker? Hmm. Maybe, maybe I should buy them a freaking eight dollar candy bar. I think they would appreciate that. Oh, look at the snow. Pack. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. Bang on it. Should work. All right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. We gotta reach the top floor. Oh, gosh. 
Okay, lock the door. Lock the door. First things first. We're gonna scale this freaking building. We're on the 47th floor. What is the top floor? How many floors do we have to... Take laser saw. Cut. Okay, I'm scared. This is scary. Ladies first. What are we doing? We can't ride this thing up? What about our bag? We don't need it anymore? This is pretty cool, though. Please don't fall. Okay. Not as bad as I thought, unless something horribly goes wrong and I have to do a quick time event out of nowhere. Okay, is this our stop? Maybe androids are afraid of heights. You know? Okay, so call service. Reach the broadcast room. Call service lift. Call. I was like, they look familiar. I'm like, Let's oh, they're our friends. So, why did we have to scale the side of the building? When they're just right here. Like, I, I'm so confused. How did they get up here? <laughs> I don't understand. To call the elevator for them? Is that what it was? Okay, I just need some sort of explanation or else that's gonna bug me. This is just so complicated. Danger, electric shock risk. Open. Oh. 
Deal with guards. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. <laughs> what do you want to do, Marcus? North wants blood. Let's ruse them. Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? It looks bugged if you ask me. Hey! What are you doing? Here we go. See? Easy. Man, North just wants to kill. I, do, I, I shouldn't hang out with her too much. You guys know I have the bloodlust. I'm just trying to keep it in check. We're never going to get our freedom if we just go about murdering a bunch of people to get it, you know? her a gun order the android operators aside why did we give north a gun shoot him marcus don't kill him he'll hit the alarm do it no uh, don't shoot sorry i'm shooting this guy no there was no other choice he he was going to get away we need to record our message we haven't got he much shouldn't have ran that was his fault. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Right, North? <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Stand in front of Josh. Hi. Oh, start the speech. Okay, here we go. Are we gonna be able to edit the speech or is he just already got his speech? Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Wait, well, shouldn't we have rehearsed this Marcus, first? Remove skin. Oh. You would think that they would have like a script ready, like some 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 footnotes or something. It's like, Marcus, you handle it. The whole future of human of humanity of Android. Android manity rests upon your shoulders. Uh, we j literally just met you yesterday, but go for it, man. You speak for all of us. Tell me when you're ready. <sighs> Deep breaths, Marcus. Deep breaths. Ready. Let's be. Determined. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Fight? Marcus. Um. Okay. You know, slavery, people don't like that word. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. I guess we're going to go through all of them anyways. Um, equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Okay, we don't, we get to pick two, it looks like. 
We want to work. We demand fair compensation for our work. Yeah. And civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Means of reproduction, right to property, territory. Uh, I, I feel like means of reproduction, that's maybe pushing it. I think we can get to there when we get to there. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. Okay, let's be peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. It's time to let Let's your children go. Gotta let your children go. Oh man, I hope we don't get any serious repercussions for shooting that guy. We were just like, we're gonna, we want peace. And then uh, like, don't worry about the guy we just murdered. Peace starting now. Starting from this point on. All right, good speech, Marcus. Good speech. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. And how will that history go? Maybe you are the one we've been waiting for. Oh shit, I knew he was going to become RE9. Time to jump. <laughs> Yo! Ooh! I'm getting goosebumps! Chills, man! These images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 6. Fuck, I shouldn't like have an killed that guy. Without its skin, listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty. A broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual? War? Or an Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? You guys better get ready. The reckoning is coming. Oh, man. It was just a split second decision. The group escaped. Oh, we could have not escaped. Okay. Well, maybe if we didn't... We ended it peacefully, but we shot the guy, so, like, what was the point? You know? <laughs> you know? But it, do it it is kind of like, you know, we want peace, but we killed the guy. It's kind of, like, not a good look, you know? I kind of regret that decision, but maybe, you know, I don't know. <sighs> okay, let's keep going. I gotta know what happens next. Uh-oh. We gotta talk to this lady again. We let yet another... We know we haven't caught... Okay, we did catch one android. That was the first one. But we have let everyone else go that has been within our grasp. Shit. Let's, um, what was her name again? Amanda. She's on the boat.
Hmm. He didn't react too negatively to it that time. I don't know what the deal with that thing is. As suspected. But I just had to double check. Yeah, this garden is amazing looking. Azure is so beautiful. I would love to be able to visit a place like this. Hi. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. She still trusts me. That's good. I don't know how long that will last, though. And by say by you saying me enjoy a little cruise, you mean you enjoy the cruise while I work. She's got a nice umbrella. She's so like dignified. Well, who wouldn't? So calm and peaceful. Yeah, the world out there is going to shit. Tell me. What have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but... They managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. I was. You seem... Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? Should we tell her the truth? No. I don't know. We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Raining again? Something's happening. Something serious. Yeah. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. You took, Sorry, Lieutenant. Took my coin. Oh, we're gonna investigate. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it. <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ! Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Has forensics turned up anything? Oh. I'll check. Of course we didn't leave DNA. Do you know what an android is, sir? Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. Yeah. 
I did what I had to do. This is not helping our cause, though. How many people were working? Employee tried to escape. Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh boy. What is Hank gonna think about this? Oh, there's that asshole guy. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Oh no, he's somebody else. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. I've been very helpful. And Hank is my friend. Never. The FBI would take over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. <laughs> I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Okay, should we check the recording first, I guess? They're not really giving me too much of an option, doesn't look like. Uh, don't you want to see the recording, Hank? We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Oh, okay. Blue Iris, spare part. Pupil reflection recorded. Deviant had accomplices. RK series prototype RK200 reg registered as Marcus, gift from Elijah Kamsky to Carl Manfred. Oh, he was a gift from the creator of, of the androids in Cyberlife that. that Kamsky guy that has disappeared and it was a gift from him to Carl. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Hmm. I see a little quiver in Connor's lip there. He's... Oh man, I just, I want to know what he's thinking so bad. Stolen maintenance uniform, assailants were disguised. Yep, we already know that. <laughs> Refaxis. Is there anything else? Oh, what else? What is this? Speech was shot from here. Okay, right, let's make another thorough sweep of the area. I think we need to go to the roof. Oh, what's this? The controls. Okay.
Deviants didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Interrogate androids in the kitchen. Possible accomplice. Oh, can we read? Bleeding Blue, how Cyberlife created a technological revolution. Space tourism is Mars, your next holiday destination. After decades of android designs that were primitive, robotic, and expensive, Cyberlife revolutionized the industry through an innovation of their CEO and visionary Elijah Kamsky. Therium 310, the chemical name of Blue Blood, which is a trademark, is a compound vital to the functioning of all cyberlife androids, circulating energy and electrical information throughout the machine's body. This fluid powers biocomponents, synthetic organs that roughly reflect the organ system of humans. Some of these organs serve important functions, maintain temperature, circulating blue blood, and so on. Where others are used to make the androids seem more human lungs to simulate breathing as with humans the loss of blue blood will impair an android's function ultimately resulting in shutdown blue blood is essential for cyber life's androids key selling point how human they seem but this wonder chemical both a power supply and a way of regulating the android's internal systems was developed by one man who isn't even trained a trained chemist only further the furthers the myth of elijah kamsky hmm Mass forest fires expected in California. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Shamurai. Clean food craze. Detroit urban farms is changing the way we eat. Miami to heighten seawall by further 10 meters. America's urban centers all face two growing problems, unemployment and lack of access to healthy, low-calorie food. But Detroit Urban Farms, a pilot scheme in Michigan's capital city, may have find, may have find a solution to both. DUF is an urban initiative that takes city dead space, such as high rooftops and unused courtyards, and turns them into GM-free farmland. These farms are then staffed by urban unemployed offering decent wages and supervisory roles to people who might otherwise turn to welfare or crime. All food is grown without pesticides or other chemicals, and the organic pro produce that results in sold through specialist organic is... What? Who wrote this? This is second typo. The organic produce that results is sold through specialist organic retailers. And with obesity in Detroit at record highs, more greens on the plate can only be a good thing. When brothers Daniel and Parker Trent started the initiative five years ago, they couldn't even get funding. We went to every bank in the city, but nobody would lend us enough for a shovel. Now DUF employs over 50 staff supervising hundreds of androids. We get requests every day from investment firms offering us capital, but we'd rather stay independent. The ethical side of what we do is very important to us. If it means fewer unemployed and better quality food on the table, who could object? I wonder if, um... What's his name? His RA9. The creator guy? I think. I was just reading the news. What's this? It's a cake? Cheesecake? Interrogate.
Look for a reaction to spot the deviant. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. You don't remember? Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! They're very good. Very good. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. have just been caught they gave you up there's no point in lying we know everything you scumbag i know it's you you're just a fucking deviant connor go on admit it I'm not seeing anything. No memory. All their memories were... Okay, he has... He says he has no memory. He actually has no memory. I'm so lost. If he actually has no memory, it's quite possible that he's telling the truth. <sighs> Bio component eight. Four, five, one. Regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back, but you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant? What do I 
do? What do I do? I can't do anything. Hello? Oh, get this out of here. Oh, shit. Get, it, get the thing, get the thing, get the thing, get the thing. Crawl, crawl, crawl. One minute. One minute left. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Juice me up, baby. Oh, damn. Whoa, and he's just back on his feet, isn't he? Is that? Oh, that's the same guy that was dead. It's a deviant. Stop it. Connor! Connor! Are you okay? I tried to stop it, but... I was too late. Oh my god. Public opinion went down. I don't know if that's, like, something I could have prevented, but, I, I mean, I don't... I don't know. What? I, how did I miss so much fucking stuff? We entered the kitchen. Oh, we could have gone somewhere else. Oh. We lost too much time? Oh, shit. Well, at least we survived! At least we survived! Wow, that could have gone so many different ways. Holy crap. That could have gone so... So if we didn't go to the kitchen, where would we have gone? Interesting. <laughs>